Look at this map. Temperatures right now in the 50s with the exception of the coast, upper 40s there. Warming up today and tonight, no freeze warning, but the last 48 hours could prove to be too much for some valley farmers. So there's not much we can do about it other than pray and <laughs> watch the weather. Praying and watching. That's what many valley farmers did this week. Vegetable farmers like Jed Murray took the biggest hit this time around. Yeah, Channel 5 Sarah Sabetta is live at his Swiss chard field. Sarah, what does the damage look like? Rudy, that's right. I'm here in Jed Murray's Swiss chard and beet field where at first glance, it might not look like there's too much damage, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you here. You see the crops are kind of pushed back this way. Murray explained that when the Arctic wind and blast came through, pretty much froze the crop and now it's damaged. So as you start looking closer, you can see again, the curled leaf is part of the damage. Oh, you can yeah. see, see that it's off color. This should be a, a nice shiny, shiny green. Vegetable farmers are feeling the pain of this week's That's freezing cold. temperatures. So we don't have time to recoup it to, to, to save ourselves. So this is a pretty devastating thing for us. Jed Murray is a winter vegetable farmer in Los Fresnos. He grows everything from cilantro, kale, anyway, parsley, Swiss chard, and collards. He said, he had no choice but to let Mother Nature run its course. It's almost impossible to prevent it. Murray says once temperatures fell below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, many winter-based plants he grows like Swiss chard grows. Murray told us, while this may look okay on the outside, this is supposed to be crunchy, but as you can see, it's pretty flexible. The cells basically busted. This is gonna decay and you can no longer sell this. Kale is a little more hardy. You can even feel the. Yep. So, colder. see, did you hear that? Did you hear the kale? Mm hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. kale handled the heat a little bit, or the cold weather a little bit better. The losses from the freeze is going to leave a hole in Murray's pocket and is causing a trickle down effect for his customers. Like I already told all my customers, nothing next week. And I've, and I've told them maybe the following week. If we go about four weeks without sales or limited amount of sales, that's going to be at least a half a million dollars in, in loss of sales. Dale Merton is a president of Texas Citrus Mutual, and he says he's not surprised. It's a gut shot. You know, you've got all your money invested into the crop right now. A lot of us still haven't been harvested yet. Whatever Mother Nature wants to do, she's going to win. Merton helps both citrus and vegetable farmers. His phone was ringing all morning with people calling in to report losses. For citrus farmers, it's a wait and see process for the full extent of the damage. It'll be a few weeks before we really know the damage to citrus once it gets hot. Uh, the wind was, was extremely bad the last few days, so there's fruit on the ground. Murray just wants customers to know he is working hard for them. We're doing the best we can. We need people to understand that um, this is Mother Nature. The storm is not over yet for Murray. He says with the possibility of rain coming in this weekend, it could possibly further damage his crops, so he's bracing for a possible another hit. Live in Los Fresnos, Sarah Cervera, Channel 5 News at 6.